Welcome to The Real Board Loft. I'm Trip Foreman. We got Jake Sachs with us, and we want to talk about the new EPS epoxy constructions from SurfTech, break down the epoxy cloud of confusion, and uh, break it down to what you're going to feel through your feet and in the boards that uh, it's available in. Uh, we got all of the IPAs here. We got the IPA Big Brother Sting, the Big Boy Sting, we got the Dark Twin, and we got the Wrecking Ball. And these four boards that we have with us, there's two constructions we're going to talk about. We're going to talk about Fusion HD, and we're also going to talk about dual core technology. Jake, that sounds super technical. There's a lot of technical phrases in here. Well, we're going to get super tech, and then we're going to break it down into just what that means for your surfing and get real simple. So, so we, put, we put Jake on librarian duty. Uh, he went on the interwebs, and he dug deep and he went to the end of the internet, like over the hill, like into the shaded area of the internet to find out like all of the catchphrases and the terms and, and what these things are supposed to do yep. for you. Uh, Jake, let's talk about Fusion HD first. Sounds good. Fusion HD is, starts with the EPS foam core uh, and then it, it has a wooden stringer so that's you know standard kind of EPS epoxy technology. Uh, they use a HD resin, epoxy resin, and they wrap that around this foam core. Uh, so it's it's nice and nice and strong, very durable, but still has the characteristics of a stringered poly board as okay. well. Um, so the wooden stringer gets your flex um, and gives you that that feeling. Uh, that you're used to, but then the uh, EPS core makes it nice and lightweight. Epoxy resin uh, is has more uh, elasticity to it, so it's not going to crack. You're, you can get your, you know, your pressure dense, your foot placement, but not have the cracks and the breaks like you would okay. normally uh, on a poly board. So let's talk about that like item by item, right? Yeah. So like the stringer you know that's going to give a familiar like pu stringered feel yep. um it's also going to give the board uh like basically like a backbone like a spine right yeah and so like you know for durability conditions like if you're in like a board breaking uh wave scenario like that's going to give the board like more strength yep. and also like what we just talked about that familiar pu feel i like what you talked about with the uh with the epoxy resin like having a, a more elasticity because mm -hmm. uh, that's a huge selling point for epoxy is that and what that means um, is you could bend it further before it starts cracking. Yeah. And so uh, if you look at a lot of like kind of one or two year old poly boards, like you're gonna see a lot of like spider cracks across the bottom of the board. And those are basically all tiny, like superficial buckles. Like you're yeah. losing the, the spring of the board. And so that elasticity helps out in a few different ways. It helps out with like minor dings in the board. It helps out with the, with the heel dents not having cracks around them or along the stringer and then leaking yep. into the board. But it also helps with, uh, with it'll prevent the board from uh, like stress cracking and then eventually buckling uh, down the road. Now, pre prevent is, a, is kind of a not, yeah. preventative. <laughs> it won't completely eliminate breaking a board, yeah. but it'll make it harder over the long time to break the board and also keep the board lively and feeling new yeah. longer compared to polyester resin. And then the cloth they use on the deck here also has a the linear, uh, you can actually see it if you look up close, but um, the, the fibers going lengthwise are stronger than their fibers going side to side. So it does that also helps with the strength okay. and to keep the board's flex going. And then it's, you know, just standard glass job on the bottom, standard e-glass okay. on the bottom. So, yeah. And, you know, cause I think whenever you say epoxy, everybody just gets confused. Yeah. You know, they think about like, and we're talking about surf techs, right? So we could actually talk about surf tech right. tough light. They think about surf tech tough light from, you know, 15, 20 years right, ago. Right. And the, and they think all epoxy boards surf like those, yeah. you know, which is and a very different construction. Huge. Yeah. The only thing that's even close to being comparable and it's not even comparable is that they both had epoxy resin, Yeah. but that, that had a, a, a darker colored something epoxy resin where this is like ultra clear. Yeah epoxy but the reason that those boards surfed the way that they did was that they had a, a divina cell or an ultra hard foam shell around yeah. them and that's what gave them the the stiffer more durable feel yeah. where these don't have that hard foam shell 
uh, way more around the board. Way closer to a classic build, classic surfboard on the on these, just with EPS and a and epoxy resin. Correct. EPS awesome. Resin. All right, cool. So that is the Fusion HD, and it's a stringered blank, uh, stringered EPS blank, HD epoxy resin and Surftex proprietary glass schedule in there. Uh, it makes a light board, like real good spring on the board, durable short term, but also dur performance durability long term. Yes. All right, and that's available in the wreck for IPAs, Wrecking Ball, Big Boy Sting, Big Brother Sting. Yes. All right, let's dig into dual core. Dual core is a lot like what it sounds like. It's got uh, two different foams in the core. So they start with an EPS uh, foam core center, and then they wrap it with poly uh, foam uh, rails. So that helps with the, uh, the flex, but also the strength on the rails. And then they have a higher density foam. You can see this black outline, higher density foam uh, stringer uh, that starts here on the, on the rails also helps with the flex. So your nose is gonna flex a little bit more than, your, than the core of the board. Right. Um, so it'll, it'll move a little bit more. And then they have a carbon stringer that's on the outside of the foam. So, no, so it's stringerless uh, in between the pieces of foam. Okay. And then they use this carbon uh, on, on the glass layup on the outside of the foam as a stringer as well for strength. Okay. And then uh, standard, uh, same thing, proprietary uh, glass schedule there and epoxy resin on All this right. one as well. All right, so when you're going to a stringerless board, like when you take the wood stringer out of the board, what are you, what are you gonna feel compared to a stringer board? Yeah, you're trying to engineer the flex a little bit more. The wood stringer will flex pretty uniformly all the way through the board. Um, this one will have more, uh, more flex in the nose mm -hmm. and in the tail area where these, you can see this, this uh, polyfoam stringer rail it ends at the tail and ends at the nose so your nose and your tail are going to flex flex a little more mm -hmm. than your core so what that does is when you load it up it's going to have more spring like the tail if you loaded uh pressure onto the tail there when you come out of the turn it's going to spring uh back to where it's it's comfortable with but it'll load up more and then same with the nose as you drop in it's going to flex just that little bit more or, okay. Uh, to flat, fit the shape of the wave, but you still you don't want the whole thing to be like a wet noodle. You want that the, under your feet to have that nice rigid flex pattern to it, and that's why they, they beef up the flex pattern in the middle with those stringers. Okay. Uh, and that core. And then let's talk about the fact that they're putting PU foam on the rails. Like, what what do you think? What do you think that's about? Like, you know, the, the it's EPS in the center, yeah. PU like you know, polyurethane yeah. blank on the, on the rails. And you could see that, that cut lines like right here, like yep. when you get up close, you could see it. Um, and you know, so from here back, this thing is uh, a PU foam on the rail. What's the, what's the thought process going on there? Yeah, it's that same thing. It's trying to take the best mm -hmm. of the characteristics of both constructions. Mm -hmm. So you want the lightness of the EPS epoxy build, um, but the flex of the poly. Poly flex is really, it's got like a, a good comfortable flex pattern. Mm -hmm. it, uh, sometimes EPS epoxy will be um, so flexy and snap back so quick that it actually like is quicker than you can move your feet. Okay. Whereas poly is a more even flex pattern. Okay, when you say poly, to, you mean like Polyurethane. Poly, polyurethane. The, yeah. the polyurethane foam or yeah. PU foam. Okay. Yeah, PU foam has a, a, a more even flex pattern uh, that's more, uh, you know, reliable as okay. far as like when you're surfing it, it's going to do what you feel um, natural to you. So they're taking that, putting it on the rails, giving you uh, your flex pattern uh, from the stringers and from this uh, polyurethane on the rails and then keeping the lightweight in you the know, center where the center mass is. Where the, yeah, exactly. And I know a lot of people, um, a lot of the PU fans, like they like the da a damp yep, feeling the that, yep. that, you know, the damp, you know, damp, damp, not meaning like damp, like our shirts right now in the heat, yeah. but like, like damp in a good way, like that it kind of dampens the vibration yeah. uh, and keeps the board like a little bit quieter, like through, through the water. Yeah. Uh, and by having, I'm looking at this thing and I'm like, okay, they're putting it on the rails for that as well like totally. just the dampening of like when this thing's on rail like you're not you don't have all the the eps foam on the rail 
uh, you got something that's more familiar to their standard PU poly board on the rail. Exactly, and that that kind of chittery feel that sometimes you get on a uh, with the EPS foam uh -huh. um, that has to do with that flex characteristics of the EPS, where it's like a little more uh, like, like tightly chittery. wound. Yeah, tightly wound. Exactly. Okay. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Awesome. Well, that's great. I mean, that gives us a good background on both of these technologies. Again, uh, the first technology that we talked about was the Stringer EPS epoxy fusion hd available in the wrecking ball the big boy and the big brother and secondly we talked about the dual core eps epoxy uh, both of these by surf tech uh, obviously the ipod lineup if any of you have any questions on these technologies or on any of these models or purchasing one you can always give us a call at the shop 252-987-6000 or look us up online, realwatersports.com forward slash surfing. Thanks for tuning in. Ooh.